but inside of you is a divine spark and is God himself because you come from God and you are actually made of God's stuff, my friends. What else do you think you are? What else do you think this world is made of? It's God's thought. It's his idea that he put substance to, my friends, and it's good because it comes from God. And all those stories, they're nothing but lies, and they're going away. It's like when the sun comes and the clouds disappear, my friends. When the light comes, the darkness flees before it. When life is, there is no death. And hear me if you hear nothing else. God is is good. God and good are the same thing. Good morning, my wonderful friends. Magus with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And guys, I am so excited about where this energy is going. That shift, oh my God. It's amazing. I mean, it's so peaceful. It's so beautiful. And I'm seeing things in Asha on a much deeper level. Whenever I think we've gone through it, there's nothing else to find in here. We go even deeper in these words and in that word behind the words. Uh, two things I want to cover today. First, uh, Spirit was really putting on my heart this morning uh, about how we would live if this was our last year on earth in time and space how would we live? How would we talk to our children and our spouses and friends and family? How would we put our energy into the different activities of our day? What would be important and not so important? We should live not only every year like that, we should live every day like that, every day being born again, crucifying the flesh, the lie and the illusion, and living from pure spirit of love. My friends, I want you to think about that. If you have Asha, which I'm sure all of you wouldn't by now do, please go to Asha 6. And Asha 6 talks about that our thoughts make your world. You know, Jesus said, be it unto you as you believe. Your life, your world is going to be unto you as you believe it as you think it. You know, Asha 2 says to know only good. When we perceive and understand and hold only good, we allow, we let our experience be that. My friends, today I want you to take captive every single thought, every word. And a good way to do that is like we we're just saying, if this was your last year on this planet, what would you be thinking about? How would you be speaking to those around you? Would you be more concerned about the love that you're giving in the world than you are right now? Take every thought, word, and deed captive. Thoughts make your world. Beliefs make your thoughts. Reason makes your beliefs. Mind reasons. Mind is the reason. Now get this. Then illusion goes away. Belief in only good. My friends, illusion goes away when you know only good. What have we learned from this year? Well, after that shift took place, what is the realization we had? There is no enemy. There is no devil. There is no demon. There is no hate, fear, and greed. Those things have no substance, no reality. Because our reason is, and that you have to have a reason. Go to the end of 6 before we even get to that. I, I love this. It says, it is this complete trust that brings out manifestations now, real as they already are, by means of reason. You have to have a reason to truly believe. Otherwise, you're just hoping, or you're begging for it. Uh, but, but to truly believe, you have to have a reason, sound reason to believe. What is our reason to believe in good? in all good, that there is no devil, that there is no enemy, that there is no hate, fear, greed, sickness, disease, death, and hell. My friends, I'll tell you why. Because a perfect creator, what else could he have but a perfect idea of creation, a perfect idea of you? That is truth. That is the real above all real. That is reality that is substance. That's what was and is and will be. My friends, the lie and illusion, the devil and demons, they were not. And even right now, they only appear as. They're not real. They're not substance. 
They, they only come out of, of, out of fears from the wrong ideas, my friends. And they're not going to be. They're already gone, as a matter of fact, after this shift. And that ought to bring someone right now that has been scared of demons and devils and, and sickness and disease. And when you realize it's all lie and illusion, it's not real. And our reason to believe that, and like the Christ said, be it unto you as you believe, our thoughts make our world. The, our reason to believe that is because a perfect creator made a perfect you in a perfect world. And all we have to do is come back into alignment with that vibration. That takes us to Asha 13, doesn't it? The original word. What is the original word? It's Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. What does the original word say? Turn to Asha 13. My friends, a uh, few of you have said that in your Asha, they're not numbered. I, I realize that in none of the versions of Asha that's come out are numbered. I've just memorized them. So you got to go in there and just write them in. Asha 13 says the original word is that all good comes from the creator and no evil comes from him. My friends, that's completely different than what the world religions teach, right? They teach good and evil comes from God. That, that love and hate comes from Him. Creation and destruction comes from Him. Uh, the original word, which we call Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea, the true word, the real word, the word that was, is, and is to come, says that only good comes from the creator and no evil comes from Him. That's Asha too. What is our only job? To know only good. To align with and hold only good. The Christ said, Verily, verily, I send you, he who holds my word. What word? The original word. The all good God. The loving Father that doesn't hate, war, kill, and destroy. We hold that word. We we, we imitate that word. We vibrate that word. We be that word. We be love, peace, joy, and kindness. And we create that in our world. I'm going to read some more Asha 13 because you know that's my favorite out of all of them. The original word is that all good comes from the Creator. No evil comes from Him. And from this original word is the spiritual world made straight and the material world brought into order. When you hold that original word, your spiritual world vibrates straight and your material world comes into order because we're holding good God. We're knowing only good God. Go to Asha 9. I love how this is coming together. I love Asha 9 too. I love them all. 13 is my favorite, but listen to 9. It, it says, I have shed the illusion of the lower animal. I have let go all air. I refuse to hold the vibrations, feelings, or emotions of the lie. I live only in the vibration of truth, Asha, God's highest idea of good, and my eyes will not see nor ears hear the lion illusion. My friends, when you hold that highest good God, when you know good God, and you don't allow the lion illusion into your vibration, it says you will no longer see the lion illusion in your world. Then it goes on to say, I love this. I turn away if I sense bad energy. I turn away and remove myself if others choose bad energy. No one can force bad energy on me, for I am light. And in light there is no darkness. And get this, I love this. This opinion or thought I hold is the key to the kingdom. And this wisdom rules both worlds. This is the key, my friends, to change your entire world. This is the key. What is the key? It's the thought that we hold. The, the word that we hold. What word, what thought are you holding? Are you holding only good God? That there is no devil, there is no evil, there is no hate, fear, and greed. That's all lie and illusion. It's not true. It's not substance. You know only good. You're intimate with only God good. The highest principle of God good, not the God good of the matrix religions that, that hates and wars and kills and gets jealous and kills men, women, and children and will hate you when you're doing bad and like you when you're doing good. No, we're talking about the highest principle of good. How do you find that highest principle of good? Well, I'll tell you, I'm glad I asked that for you because my friends, he put that divine spark inside of you, that book 
that is written by his very hand, not by the hands of man. And you can read that book and you know what the highest good is. And that's why when you read their so-called religious text, it, it rubs you wrong inside when they're talking about killing men, women, and children and sacrificing sweet little sheep and, and going in and, and taking other lands and, and all the stories. It, it doesn't feel right sacrificing their children to Jehovah and and going in and killing the infidels for Allah and inside of you you're thinking that doesn't sound right but but a fear keeps you from questioning their books and their priests and their gods but inside of you is a divine spark and is God himself because you come from God and you are actually made of God's stuff my friends what else do you think you are. What else do you think this world is made of? It's God's thought. It's his idea that he put substance to my friends and it's good because it comes from God and all those stories they're nothing but lies and they're going away. It's like when the sun comes and the clouds disappear my friends. When the light comes the darkness flees before it. When life is there is no death and hear me if you hear nothing else God is is good. God and good are the same thing. And they tried to take over the religions and change the idea of what good means. But thank God there's a book written inside of you that you know what good is. You know what love is. You know what kindness is because it's what you are, my friends. And you let that lie and illusion and all those false stories go that they taught you in their Sunday schools and in their temples and their mosques and you let those lies go and you go inside and you find truth and you find God and you change your vibration and you change this world my friends God is good God is good good is good and bad is bad good is good and bad is bad and you know it it's instinctive and you know the truth and the truth will set you free my friends what an amazing time we're in right now. My God, we are evolving. This is all about the evolution. My friends, call it what you want. The golden age, the age of Aquarius, the new earth. I don't care what you call it, but it's good because it's God, because that is truth, my friends. God good is that real above all real. And I want all of us to start living in that God mind and that God thought and start aligning ourselves, my friends, with that God thought and being that God thought being love peace joy kindness goodness and it will be my friends I'm so proud of everything you're doing I love you guys so much it's gonna take all of us guys it's gonna take all of us it can't be just me it can't just be a couple of us all of us have to spread this message one we spread this message by being this message, being Asha, being love, peace, and joy. And secondly, we can share this message by sharing the videos, sharing the books, my friends, and loving on each other and loving on everybody because love is all there is and love is the most powerful energy in this world. I love you guys so much and we'll see you next time.